Pussybubble.com, page two. Who created the pussy bubble? Men are ultimately responsible for the advent of the pussy bubble. That's right, I said men. Before we go any further in explaining the nature and the implications of the pussy bubble, it's necessary uh, for me to clarify that I am not laying the onus exclusively or even primarily on the female sex. As in the Garden of Eden, a collaboration of capitulation and failure between man, woman, and satanic lies is at the root of the pussy bubble. No matter how the definition of family is revolutionized today, the creator of the universe still holds men ultimately responsible when they collaborate with Satan and permit their wives, daughters, mothers, and sisters to fall into deadly traps. So by shrugging off God-given responsibility and abdicating the patriarchal throne in the household, the Western male followed the power of the pussy into a new age where Satan's redefinition of the roles of the sexes and the nature and purpose of marriage for the first time in Christ Christian history utterly usurped the definition given by the Creator in the Garden of Eden, where God said, in Genesis 3.16, King James Version, Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. This message from the creator of Genesis is so straightforward and succinct that it leaves this generation of Western civilization in an inescapable dichotomy. Either... On the one hand, the creator of Genesis was never more than a figment of the imagination of the authors of the Bible. The God of the Bible was never more than a projection of the willingness of people to allow the determination of religious leaders to tribally unite them under the mutual fear of a mythical deity whose power was essentially derived from their assent, assent to these ideas. So, in an empirical sense, the God of the Bible is not real, and the idea is defined in the Bible and represented for millennia as the laws of nature and nature's God in the Declaration of Independence, for instance, have outlived their practical loose usefulness. God's law is out of date, or at least the ones which define the parameters and meaning of sexuality, authority, and marriage. And so these laws may be without fear of divine retribution, because God is only a projection of our, of our own um, conscious will. The laws can be modified or abolished at the whim of humanity. Or, on the other hand, option B. This generation of sexual revolutionaries has sown the wind and is already beginning to reap the whirlwind, by defying the laws of God with reference to sexuality, authority, and marriage. The Western nations, in backsliding from any good faith attempt to reconcile their laws and customs to the meaning of the words in the Bible, have set in motion a sexual Ponzi scheme and left their children on the bottom of the pyramid, teetering on the brink of annihilation. In short, they have created the biggest economic bubble in millennia, the pussy bubble.